Uh, what up guys, Nick from What Up MC here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Pokemon Go video. So ever since the Buddy Update came out about a week ago, I've seen a lot of people on the internet wondering, what is the best Buddy Pokemon? So I decided to do a little bit of research, doing a little bit of number crunching to find out which Pokemon is actually the best Pokemon to put as your Buddy Pokemon. So right before I get started, I just want to say that the way Pokemon kind of works, it's kind of a, like advanced game of rock, paper, scissors, where every single type gets countered by something else and also counters something so there may not be one sort of best Pokemon to use because even if you have like a maxed out Dragonite it can still get obliterated by like ice type moves or fairy type moves or something like that. So since the game can change a little bit in that aspect I was just trying to think okay so what is if we really just take the numbers and be objective about it which Pokemon is the best Pokemon to put as your buddy as in which Pokemon will give you the most CP out of every kilometer you walk. So like which Pokemon will gain the most CP for the distance that you walk and which one will be most useful for taking gyms, for holding gyms. So if you're looking for that sort of thing, let's get right into it. Because of how drastically the CP per kilometer changes for each level of Pokemon that gets candy at 1k, 3k, and 5k, I decided just to split them up into three different groups because it wouldn't be fair and like clumping them all into the same group because the 1k Pokemon would just obliterate every other group of Pokemon. So basically how I did the calculations was we're going to assume you have a Pokemon at level 20, which is uh, kind of like the strongest Pokemon you get from an egg. We're going to assume that you already have the Pokemon evolved, and then we're going to say that you're powering up from level 20 to 30. So how much CP does it increase for every kilometer that you walk to upgrade the Pokemon from level 20 to 30, which I think is where a lot of people will be at that point in the game right now. So the Pokemon that get one candy per kilometer they walk, which is 66 kilometers, 66 candies to go from level 20 to 30. Out of all those Pokemon, the strongest one that increases the most is obviously Gyarados, because Magikarp is in the 2k A group, which means it only takes 1k to get candy. So from level 20 to 30, when you power up Gyarados, it goes, it increases its CP by 768, which walking over 66 kilometers ends up being 11.64 CP per kilometer. Then second is Clefable at 10.38, then it's Golem at 9.97, Wigglytuff 9.42, and then Pidgeot at 9.05. So for the next category, the 3k Pokemon, since there are so many Pokemon that are in the 3k, uh, I'm going to do a top 10 instead of a top 5 because I think there's some noteworthy Pokemon in the top 10 that are worth uh, mentioning. So an Arcanine going from level 20 to 30 takes 66 candies which ends up being 198 kilometers if you're just doing it purely from walking. The CP increases by 852 so that gives you a CP per kilometer increase of 4.3 which as you can tell Pidgeot ended at 9.05 and the lowest in the 1k group is actually Raticate at 6.24 so even the lowest one at the 1k group is higher than the highest one at the 3k group. So Arcanine is at 4.3 Executor is a very close second at 4.27, which is worth noting because Executor is a very good Pokemon as well. I was surprised by number three, which is actually tied for Muck, which I expected at 3.76. But then the other one I didn't expect, it's actually tied with Charizard at 3.76, which is something worth looking into since fast Pokemon don't really get good CP, so it may be worth checking to see if starter Pokemon are actually a bit boosted to make them more desirable in the game. Very closely right after that is Slowbro at 3.75, and then very close after that again is Machamp at 3.74, and then you have Venusaur 3.72, Blastoise 3.67, Victory Bell 3.66, and Poliwrath 3.61. So those are the top 10 Pokemon in terms of CP per kilometer in the 3k group. Now, moving on to the big ones, the 5k group. So, you may have guessed it, the top Pokemon in this group is actually Dragonite. Leveling a Dragonite from level 20 to 30 requires 330 kilometers to walk, and it increases your CP by 1001. This gives a CP per kilometer of 3.03. .03. Next up is Snorlax, 2.7. Lapras, 2.58. Vaporeon 2.44 and Flareon 2.29. I think it's worth worth mentioning that this group has the worst Pokemon uh, for CP per kilometer in the whole game. Uh, Onyx and Chansey. Onyx, for every kilometer you walk, you'll get 0.74 CP out of it, and Chansey, for every kilometer you'll walk, you'll get 0.58 CP out of it. I think this goes without saying that this is probably due to the fact that Chansey has 
uh, outrageously high HP but very low other stats, so that's why its CP ends up being really low. So what are the conclusions we can draw from this list? Now, not all the Pokemon I mentioned are viable in gym battles, but this is just if you want to get the highest CP leveling out of every kilometer that you walk with your buddy Pokemon. I think the thing to take away from this list is some of the best Pokemon you can use as your buddy Pokemon. The one kid group, Gyarados is the obvious standout. Clefable is also really good and Wigglytuff I think is worth mentioning because I think Wigglytuff is a pretty good uh, gym attacker. For the 3k group, I would recommend Arcanine and Exeggutor as really strong picks. And then from the 5k group, obviously the top four are the four most common Pokemon you would see in gyms right now. Dragonite, Snorlax, Lapras, and Vaporeon. So those would all be good picks if you're patient about waiting the 5k for the can for the one can you get if those aren't common Pokemon in your area. Alright, so it did take me a while to get these stats assembled, so I only checked it for evolved Pokemon, but I'm actually really interested to check it for non-evolved Pokemon. Like if you have to gather the candies to evolve them and then power them up, see how much um, like see which Pokemon the best would be then because I think Gyarados would actually drop from the best one at that list if you were to use that. So if you guys want to see that video too for the best buddy Pokemon, if you're starting from an unevolved Pokemon, then please let me know. I'm excited to do that video, but I don't know if I should put all the work into it if not that many people want to see it. <laughs> but keep in mind, if you're not interested in like getting the high CP, you are not, you don't really care about battling gyms and stuff, then I'd recommend just put your favorite Pokemon as your buddy Pokemon, just walk around with them, you know. In the end, it is a game, it is about having fun, and if you want to put your favorite Pokemon as your buddy Pokemon, then just do it. So I'm going to go, guys. Amanda and I are actually at the Botanical Gardens right now to see some garden of lights thing <laughs> right now that's actually the olympic stadium behind me right now if you guys want to see the pokemon go adventure vlog video we recorded while we were here then i'll put a link up in the corner so you guys can go see that video so let me know in the comments if you want to see the other part for unevolved pokemon leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more pokemon go stuff and other pokemon content then hit the subscribe button down below but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time